Welcome to the Ladies Talk Show. This is your host, Leah Richheimer. Thank you so much for joining us. So I'd like to start with a story. I had a um, lady who called me and she said, listen, I don't know what to do because every time I complain to my husband that he does something, he talks to me very, very harshly. And when he speaks to me, he really bothers me. He talks to me like when he's one of the guys. Hey, let's go going. He's like, hey, are you ready to go now? Okay. So my husband, when I told him I'm really upset how he talks to me, he says I'm hypersensitive. He's just finished, like enough. He, 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 I'm picking him, I'm picking at him all day long. He's tired of me putting him down for what he does. So what is the solution? What kinds of things? How do you solve this? So I'll tell you what the, what the uh, thoughts that I had given to her. One is, I said, you are probably on the, on the scale, you're probably way over here in terms of sensitivity. So if you can thicken up a little bit, thicken your skin a little bit, okay? And he's probably way over here in terms of harsh speaking. And if he can go a little bit this way, maybe you meet in the middle. But I also said, men who aren't, you know, it's, it's probably a good thing that you're, he's harsh because a, you know, a harsh man is somebody who's strong. Let's do this, let's do that. You want that in a husband. You don't want to, yeah, would it be possible? You know, like that, whatever. You, you wouldn't look, be able to look up to him. So it's good that he's harsh. Maybe he's a little too harsh. Maybe he can tone that down a little. So that's the first thing, okay, is to work towards that compromise. And the second thing is, she is trying to get him to change by how? By nagging. Oh, that was so harsh. Did you have to say it that way? So all day long, she's creating these conflicts, okay? Rather, she has to use the one in 20 rule. One um, uh, criticism for 20 compliments. So it doesn't mean that she has, oh, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, and you also didn't uh, you know, talk to me very nicely. You know, so it has to be done in a very sechaldic, in a smart way, but in terms of proportions, in terms of where they're holding. So that's the first thing, she, the, I mean the second thing, is that she needs to be able to tell him and explain it to him in a way that he can hear it. And that is if you're constantly, like she said, I'm constantly, she's constantly criticizing. If on the other hand, she is um, giving a lot of positive reinforcement, it, it will balance it out. <laughs>